My name is Lenny Freed and I live in Cummington, Mass. And I started a project in 2007 called the Bagshare Project. And um, the idea was to first try to get people to bring their own bag when they shop. And um, the way I wanted to, the way the bag share has worked is in order to raise awareness. Uh, we're doing a skill. We're sewing bags, as opposed to selling bags or giving bags away. And the bags that are sewn for the bag share project are what we call a shared bag. So they're not owned. It's more like a library book. So when you take out a library book, you feel obligated to return the book. And we felt through doing this project that that would help people to remember to bring their own bag, to get them into the habit of returning a shared bag. So I'm an artist and I developed this, it's a tag and it says return to and the name of the store that's participating in the bag share um, is written in at the top and the bag can be returned to your own local store or any other bag share location. And then there's also a part at the bottom for the person who sewed the bag to sign it and a date. So um, these are sewn on the front of every bag. So our first bag share location was out in Cummington and uh, that's where I live and there's a little store there called the Old Creamery Grocery which is in process of becoming a co-op now, which is great. There's over 500 members and the first thing we do when we take on a store um, is find out how many disposable bags are used in one year. And we do kind of a count. And we found out that 49,000 bags were used at the creamery in a year. And at this point, they didn't use plastic. They were pretty environmentally minded. But that was still a lot of bags, and very few people uh, were bringing their own bag. So based on that estimate, we decided to start, we decided to sew about maybe 300 bags to start the bag share. And when we do find a store, we use the store as an educational area, so we put up posters. And this is a picture um, which usually moves people to consider uh, whether or not to use plastic, because all of the plastic on the planet now is still with us. Uh, when you learn about plastic recycling, you will learn that it can get recycled once and then it goes to the landfill pretty much after that. So all the plastic that's ever been produced is still here on the planet and unfortunately our marine animals are eating it and that's um, something that I think we can stop using. Uh, and that's one of the ideas of the bag share is to educate about why, why do we want to do this. So the creamery bag share, uh, once we sewed enough bags, people did start bringing their own. And after one year, the creamery decided to eliminate all disposable bags altogether, which is another goal of the project, is once people have gotten used to bringing their bag, maybe the store doesn't need to provide them as a service anymore. And that's what they did, and they saved uh, $5,000 a year and 50 trees every year and that's a huge environmental savings and also a cost savings so it's really a good thing all around and plus a lot of people learn to sew which is another goal of the project is to bring back uh, skills that a lot of people might not have learned um, like I did when I was younger I learned to sew um, that's not as true now as it was then. Uh, we make a very simple bag design uh, one of the things we do is we collect um, upholstery samples from couch and furniture stores and these samples a lot of times are landfilled and they're beautiful usable fabric. All the bags um, used uh, for the bag share are made of scrap fabric. Uh, so the first thing we do is we take them and sew the bottom, which I have done, and then I'm going to sew the tag on the front of the bag, which I'll do right now. We zigzag around the tag and then I'll uh, sew it together with a handle and we'll have a bag chair bag.
Okay, so here's the magic. It's really pretty. Oops. So you're ready to go. So uh, the handle is a donation that we get. Uh, it's from a company in Shelburne Falls. They make uh, yoga cushions. And do you know the name? I don't remember the name, but anyway, it's they, we get these long, narrow strips of fabric that would also normally be landfilled. So they're perfect to make um, handles from. And we have two sergers that were donated uh, from VO Max, and we have them in a sewing center, which we have in the community house in Cummington. And so we can serge, uh, which is an overlock stitch, uh, this donation and make a very usable handle. If you want to help out the bag share, there's a lot of ways you can help. Uh, actually, over 10,000 bags have been sewn by volunteers since 2007. And people sew at home. They sew in ongoing sewing circles. They start sewing circles. They start bag share locations. So in order to do any of those things, you're welcome to get in touch with me. And you can do that on the website, which is uh, thebagshare.org. And also on the website is a lot of information to get you started. There's bag facts. There's a bag share project wish, wish list, which is for any donations, fabric, uh, webbing for straps, sewing thread, pattern making supplies, marking equipment, uh, books related to sewing. So you can find all of that uh, on the site. And another great way uh, to help the project is just to get it going in schools, uh, through education, showing movies. This is a great new movie that just came out. It's called Bag It. And it's pretty depressing, but you gotta just watch it anyway. <laughs> and it makes a real difference to see why do we need to do this? We need to change. And the whole concept of a disposable society does not include the planet.